In this screencast, I will show you how to set up a development environment for the Beacon OpenFlow controller using Eclipse. In this example, I use Ubuntu Linux as my operating system, and as a prerequisite, you must have both Java and Git installed on the system before starting. Setting up the same environment for Windows or OS X is very similar, so this example should point you in the right direction. Let's get started. First, open your favorite internet browser. We'll use Google Chrome for this example and browse to www.eclipse.org. Look for the Get Started Now Download Eclipse button. Click that. Scroll down and look for the Eclipse for RCP and RAP developers package. This is important. We need this particular package to develop Beacon. We're running on Linux 64 bits, so we'll click that to start the download going and grab it from this mirror and hit save. For the screencast, I've actually downloaded this ahead of time, so I'm going to cancel this download. But once yours is completed, click it to open it. I've downloaded mine already to the desktop, so I'm going to go ahead and open it there and drag the Eclipse folder out onto your desktop to extract it there. Then enter that folder by double clicking it and look for an Eclipse executable and double click it to launch Eclipse. When it asks for a workspace, we are going to create a new one called Workspace Beacon. Hit OK. And you can close the Eclipse file browser now and maximize the Eclipse development environment. We don't have any projects imported into Eclipse yet, so let's download some source code. We'll make a git folder and change directory into it. And first let's get OpenFlowJ, which is a dependent library Beacon uses. So git clone, git colon forward slash forward slash gitosis.stanford.edu forward slash openflowj.git. And we now have that checked out, so let's also get the Beacon source code hit up. And you can just replace OpenFlowJ with Beacon and press enter. Okay, we now have the source code checked out for both of these projects. Let's import them into Eclipse. So click on your Eclipse window, click File, Import, General, Existing Projects into Workspace, and enter the path to your home user directory, the Git subfolder, and then OpenFlowJ we'll start with and then hit tab and it'll populate this projects window and hit finish. And let's also import beacon, so file import existing projects again and your home folder followed by git followed by beacon hit tab again you'll see a number of projects listed here then click finish. So Eclipse has now imported all of these into the workspace You'll see there are red errors indicated here. We also need to open up a target file which will download libraries required to build Beacon. So open the Beacon main target project, double click main.target. And it is now going to resolve this target definition which will take just a little bit of time. While that's running, let's set up the Beacon style format for Java. You can click Window Preferences, Java, Code Style, Formatter, and click Import. Browse to your home folder, get subfolder, Beacon, and look for Beacon Style Settings and hit OK. This will format the code that you write to be consistent with the rest of the Beacon project. Now we will wait for the resolving target definition to complete. Okay, once the target is has been fully resolved, you'll see the status message disappear from this bottom section. 
and you'll see both of the locations list the number of plugins that are available. Once that's done, you can click Set as Target Platform, and this will rebuild all of the projects, and we see they are now all rebuilt without warnings or errors. You'll only need to set this target once, and from that point forward, all of those libraries will be ready to go in Eclipse for you. Let's launch Beacon now. We're ready to do that. If you click up here next to the bug icon and click debug configurations, then click the OSGI framework and the beacon launch configuration, then debug. This will start beacon running. We can see down here in, in the console we have some messages indicating it's running. Let's verify that. We will open the internet browser again and surf to localhost 8080 and we see the Beacon UI is up and running, ready to go. We can now terminate Beacon by hitting the stop button here, or we can also go to the debug perspective and click stop. So now we have stopped Beacon. If we go back to the plugin development perspective, uh, we've got everything ready to go. That's all it took to download, set up Beacon, get it ready to run. Uh, you are now ready to start developing and using and building the next cool applications on top of this platform. The source code is available in all of these projects here. You can open into any of them and have a look at some source code. Uh, that's all there is to it. Hope you've enjoyed this screencast. Thank you.